Hey everybody, welcome back to the bunker. Now we just got done exploring the whole top floor. We learned that uh, we're the only ones left in the bunker. Everyone else is dead. Our mom just died. And we kept her, well we preserved her upstairs like Norman Bates. Which, who knows, he might wear his mother's dresses and wigs behind the scenes, but I'm not gonna be too quick to judge. So now we're gonna go into level two, because we had a system failure. Ooh, level two. System failure um, with the computer system, so now we gotta find the fuse box. Oh, fuck that. Oh, I just see something fucking like peeking over the corner over here. Ha! I'm gonna freak myself out, you know. I remember as a kid, hey, I watched, uh, I wanna say it was uh, Creep Show 2 or Creep Show 1. It uh, was the, uh, the hitchhiker. And uh, I had to go out to the garage and get something for my mom, and I remember going into her car and, hold on, shh, shh. I remember going into her car and as I was like leading over, like I like freaked myself out that like the hitchhiker was underneath the car like in the show and it was gonna grab me. So it was a nice little freak out moment. At least the power works down here. I'm dead. Okay. Communication from Bunker HQ, Site 3, Corsham, Wiltshire. Prime Minister delivered safely before blast hits. I'm just going to let him read it. 2013 government ministers and civil servants, including cabinet office, local and national government agencies, intelligence and security advisors logged in. Shortage noted in domestic support staff. Guess they didn't make it. All facilities operating normally. Checks carried out in infirmary, bakery, laundry, kitchens, telephone exchange, storerooms, office space, living accommodation, maintenance areas and workshops. How big is that place? Trust me, you get sent to this sardine tin. Prime Minister unsatisfied with living accommodation. Twat. Other civilian casualties noted outside bunker. Group of 50 attempted to breach rear exit blast door. Aggressive action not required. Activity ceased after blast. Poor bastards. So they were trying to get in, but then they got killed trying to break in because they're running from something. Oh, Commodore, huh? Best games I ever played. All right, regional reports, we're gonna write down the line. Okay, rad breach. Okay, 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 okay. Don't understand none of that. Uh, 1996, October 4th. Tavira Taylor, uh, cause of death. Don't know why. Okay, here's uh, one that died from radiation sickness. Might be the same one that we read about. Sam Collins. It's going to be fine, okay? So so maybe fine isn't the right word, but we have enough supplies to make it through. I'm sure of it. If we can just keep it together, be sensible with the rations, then we can make it. Sure, none of us are going to get fat down here, but I could I could use losing a few pounds anyway. <laughs> Looks like you lost a little more than that, my friend. Floppy disk finder. That's uh, the achievement I just got. Things I miss. I miss egg and, egg and chips, having a bath, my bed, warm sun on my neck, grass, chocolate, Natalie, I bet. Things I hate. I hate sardines, the bucket smell, and he hates level five. We're on level two, and he didn't, he didn't want to go down to level two, so if this guy hates level five, that might be the morgue. 
man. I bet you it is. All right, what else we got to click on in here? There's something. Okay, there's shit back there. All right, let's see. We're heading to the back of the room now. Seems like everything that has a light is something to click on, except for that one right there. All right, you can make it. Hopefully, nobody pops up like in uh, 28 days later when he goes into the church. some shit to look at here. Okay, we got two doors to enter here. Looks like a loose panel. Oh, yeah, maybe that's a fridge. I don't know. Alright, let's just start off with this one here. Oh, I found another one. Okay, so I found Sam. He's nice to me and talks to me. Okay. Psycho! Commissioner's room. So this must be office one and office two. That's the main office. There'd be more dead bodies laying around. I mean, well, I get the doctor, huh? Looks after all the injured soldiers. Do you think there'd be more dead people laying around because they need to clean themselves up after they die? Because he didn't want to go down into the second floor. So I doubt he went around scrounging up all the bodies and putting them away. Unless they got up and walked away. Well, well, well. Let's, let's say, say for, example, for example, the hit on Reading was one, one megaton. megaton. That, would that would mean we have this have radius. This radius. Only halfway, halfway to Basingstoke. Basingstoke. Now maybe that looks small, but that's around 100,000 fatalities. Maybe 80,000 injuries from the blast and the fireball. That's just to start with. Prevailing wind direction here is northeast. Fallout scatter would be huge. It's likely to drift all the way out past Cambridge, past Norwich even, out to sea. The total number of casualties? Unimaginable. And that's one bomb. Let's see, we got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen bombs, seventeen bombs. Man, they're trying to wipe this fucking place out. Alright, effects on humans. Okay, some nausea. This must be for uh, radiation here. Uh, 150, 250 nausea and bombing within 24 hours. Okay. So if we're over 600, we're at 80. So we're right in here. Vis you know, virtually no short-term effects of nausea. So if we get to 600, then we're dead in, in a week. Uh, plus, if we're over 600, we'd be vomiting right now. AB welcome. CB asks clarification purpose of meeting. AB puts forward petition from 18 residents keen to institute post of morale officer. It is felt that CB is not forthcoming enough in communicating current status of bunker to residents. CB makes point that any urgent change in status will be communicated very clearly to all residents when it becomes relevant. In his view, no need for a new position. AB cites two safety incidents and asks the committee if they were aware. All but FH, DM, SC are unaware of said incidents. CB says neither incident is cause for immediate concern. No need to raise panic in difficult atmosphere. Calls on FH to clarify incidents. FH agrees not of immediate concern. AB raises point that lack of trust in bunker hierarchy is causing morale issues. More clarity and openness needed. CB reiterates appointed hierarchy and his belief that no need for additional officer. If any critical incident comes to light, all will be made aware. Requests end to meeting as urgent business to attend to. AB calls for vote on appointment of morale officer. CB says vote will be ignored. Not a democracy. Meeting ended. Okay. I kind of zoned out there, so... <laughs> What's this got to say? Looks like they ain't uh, looking for opinions. It's all right, Vera. Nonsense! I know George is trying to hide things from me. I'm ill, Evelyn. I'm not stupid. I'm right, aren't I? I don't know what to say. I suppose he's just not it's sure. Radiation! It... Then why is he trying to hide it? Why? Am I on the right medicine? What could be done? Why won't he say? George has been distracted lately. Maybe he's just trying not to upset everyone. They should be upset. They built this place in six weeks. Six weeks. How can anyone expect it to be safe? There must be a leak. There must be. Mr. Bishop says I that I know it's... what he says. He doesn't want everyone to panic. Silly old Vera having another one of her turn. <coughs> <coughs> Look. Look here. More blood. I'm not being silly. 
I'm not. So there has to be a leak somewhere. If there's a leak, it's all of us. Let's get the last two words, John as well. So there's a leak somewhere. Maybe she knew where the leak was, so if John stayed in his room, that's why he would be safe. Very interesting. Commissioner's room. Let's see what he's got hiding up in here. Ooh, okay. With the greatest respect, sir, we've been up all night. It's been 10 minutes since I had to cover Vera's face. But and is I, it radiation I don't sickness? know yet. The nearest proper lab is under 10 tons of radioactive rubble, and I have to make do with a microscope. It's all right, George. We'll run some tests, Mr. Bishop. Is anyone else showing signs? Yes, six others. Quarantine them right away. Find out where they were working, what they had doing? contact with, and what they've been eating. We need a source. Margaret. It's all right. Come here, love. I guess I didn't. What's the matter? I can't sleep. It's all right. You know, if you stay in your room, you'll be safe. I'll be a bit of tick. <laughs> Tick. Talk. I'll be up in a tick. So he's. Like oh, you don't like it because it's always bad news. Oh, shit, we got a monitor system. Monitor system? An empty locker. It's not empty, y'all. There's a sweater up there. Okay. I don't like it here. I know you don't, but we're going to look at it anyway. Okay, now we have to announce that, uh, that we're shutting shit down. But first, can we get out of this? Okay, I want to look at these monitors first. Maybe they come on after we do the, the shit. Attention, the mains power is about to be switched off for maintenance purposes. Okay. Hold on, let's go through that again. What? Okay, number one, wearing brown residue around bulkhead seals. Don't know what to do about this one. Rubber compound shouldn't be perishing yet. Indicates corrosion from something it's in contact with. Unless the cobwebs or the cowboys use cottage cheese instead of VX compound, which given how the rest of the place is built, wouldn't be unlikely. Here's a response from C. Bishop. Nothing we can do, no replacement seals. Two. Rear bulkhead, bulkhead beam next to recycling unit in A15 showed stress fracturing. Through paint service. Two rivets loose it welded, but looks like s similar progress in roof beams. Two and three along adjacent wall. PJ says not major structural I issue. But if it flexes anymore, it might spring a, a seal loose and we could be in rad trouble. Best we can do f is foam sealant, but we're running low. Or seal off A15 completely. If response by ship, Bishop, gone through drawings with PG and Frank, can't waste foam. Told Frank to install additional uh, Geiger. <laughs> so we have a warning of rad uh, breach. Number three, unexpected moisture in C12. PJ says, might be condensation from the filter system, but one of the purifier, purifier lines runs right behind that wall. Worried that we might have a leak in the water system, request permission to shut down the system and take off the wall panels between C12 and C13 to look into it. Hopefully, can fix it that way. Trouble is, if there's a leak higher up, we can't get in to examine it because the ceiling there's a solid weld. Response by Bishop. Filter spec sheet says condensation can be caused by rapid warming cooling of filter system. No cause for concern. You're an idiot. God save the queen. So I'm guessing he was wrong this whole fucking time. Thinking like, oh yeah, don't worry about it. And then everybody else got fucked. While we sat up in a room locked away. Can you just picture somebody peeking through the, through the blinds right now? 
Oh, yeah, he doesn't like it in here. Oh, the toy. Commissioner. Nobody likes the commissioner. But he's your friend. Okay, so we announced we can't uh, look into the uh, security cams there, so... Let's make it down to the fuse box. Come on, you can make it. You can do it, no problem, man. Alright. Danger, live electrical equipment. So if we can go through these drawers here, we'll start with the middle one. Records. Looks like they're all ruined. I think you put some gloves on or something. shit in here. Alright, let's go in there. Did you hear that knocking? Was that just music or was that like actual somebody knocking on something? Alright, shit. Let's turn this shit off. Locate replacement fuse. Oh, we gotta locate the placement fuse. This one looks bad. That's the damaged one. Shut mains power off. Okay, well we found it, but I'm gonna say they're all bad. I need to turn the power off. Okay, gotcha, bud. Okay, now we can turn the power off. So we got one bad fuse. Locate replacement fuse. Oh, we gotta find the one that, that we gotta replace. Shit. Well, you think they would keep it? Oh, look at that. That's the replacement. Okay, now we can shut the shit off. Fuck that shit, dude. Ooh, that's fucked up. I don't like that shit. Alright, we know this one's damaged here. That one looks pretty bad. I can switch the power back on now. Fuck. When you shut the power off, you let them out. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Let's check this meter. Okay, so we are in the electrical main office, office one. So he didn't like what, level four? We're level five. So uh, I'm gonna go back in here real quick that he doesn't like. I wanna see if those computer monitors came on. Okay, I don't see. Oh, we can turn shit on. Fuck, I don't like that shit, dude. Alright, just looking at every room. And that's got me uneasy. But I don't I don't think anything's gonna come up the screens but you never know let's fucking turn that shit off let's go I don't like that shit at all alright we saw everything in here so let's get the fuck out of here that 
that sound from below. It, it wasn't there before. Uh... Fuck it, we gotta check. We ain't going down there yet. We got to uh, double check the system first. Alright, this is getting good now. Yeah, just go right to the room. We know exactly where we, uh, where we need to go. So I'm guessing I could have gone down there. Please be okay. Is there a thing here? Alright. All right, let's check the shit. I wonder if you would have gone downstairs before checking the ship out. I'm following the protocol. Air filtration fail. What do I do? Level four. With radiation? Like, fucking A, are you serious? I need an NBC suit before I can go to level 4. Okay, well, I don't know where the fuck we find that. I don't have an NBC suit. Well, you... I need to find an NBC suit. Alright, get the fuck out of the computer, let's go. I need an NBC suit before I can go to level 4. Well, we go to level 3. All right, that's fucking buggy. Maybe we'll find one at level three. Okay, here we go. What the fuck is that noise? That's what I want to know. I need to do it. There ain't nobody else here. It's probably a shoe. We probably turned the dryer back on. There's a shoe in there or something. Place fuse level three. Now we're getting somewhere. So we need a radiation suit to get to level four. Which I'm pretty sure we'll get in level three. Alright, let's turn these lights on. It's the war room. The, war room. the problem is like where was that noise coming from? Toy? Soldier. I call him Rocky. So there's nine toys, I got five of them. Flashbacks. Mr. Churchill, it's an honor, sir. She likes to get in places he's not supposed to be. Go out with it. What couldn't you tell me yesterday? There's no hope for any of them. I... I don't know. It's not radiation poisoning. The water's clean, the air is clean. It's not the food. And yet the symptoms... I can't shake that the toy, feeling motherfucker. that someone is up to something. Damn it, George. We don't have time for your fantasies. You need to figure this out with facts. We don't know where this thing comes from. 
or how it will spread. We have no cause, we have no cure. We just don't have the resources to deal with it. There is no help. There is no cavalry. There's just us. So get yourself together and fix this, do you understand me? What's that? Cooling system. <sighs> I'm you sorry, Mr. My Bishop. I'm, I'm just on edge. This place, it's full of ghosts. So, the doctor thinks somebody's sabotaging the bunker. I used to pinch these blocks to make my toys. Thief. <laughs> so somebody's sabotaging these motherfuckers. Why? Well, we don't I don't know. What we know for certain is the contamination levels. We can calculate the likely fallout and its effects, but we don't have any good model for anthrax spore spread, or even how it's affected by radiation. Look, we do know from reports at AE3 in Oxford that anthrax was used in Wave 3. We've just got no idea of the extent of it. It's not as if we can go up and test anything. We can't even count the bodies. Can't even count the bodies. Comms are dead, so we can't get a hold of them. 4,196 confirmed dead. 6,700 confirmed dead there. Waiting for a report. We're not getting one. 10,000 confirmed dead. Holy shit. Oh, emergency access only. Another one of those doors. This door only opens in an emergency. So is that door linked to the other door? I mean, who knows how long it's been since all this went down. All right. Turn on the light, buddy. Eee! Oh, shit. Is this our suit we're looking for? It doesn't look like one, but... So I did take the suit. No page unturned, five out of 11. In the event of a nuclear radi radiation leak, the following items are required for completing, or complete protection. So we need the suit, the gloves, boots, and hood. We need a gas mask. Then we need the uh, SCBA, air purifying respirator, radiation detection. We got the gowner battery powder, powdered. Battery powered Geiger counter model 060305. Protection provided highest available level of respir respiratory skin and eye protection from solid, liquid, nuclear, and gaseous chemicals. Ensure suit integrity has not been compromised by wear and tear, rips, or punctures before use. Ensure all zips and fastenings are sealed before entering contaminated areas. So we're not going to read that out loud since I just read it. Probably would have been better for them to read it. So here's the shit we need to count battery powered whatever. And I think that's it. So I think we're good. So now we can get ready to go to level four. Dude, what the fuck is that noise, man? All 
I just put the suit on. <sighs> so there is somebody down there that's evil as fuck. Or was. Maybe they're still there. Fuck. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for joining me for another episode of The Bunker. Now, uh, since I've seen this game played before, it's kind of coming back to me a little bit, but I'm not going to ruin it for anybody, because I don't know if I'm even right. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that sub button, and I'll see you in the next part of The Bunker. We're going to go down to level 4, we're going to find out what that banging is, and we're going to kick their ass. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.